it's me, Javine. Welcome to this week's Sup Saturdays, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a pretty short one, I think, but I wanted to go over two things. The first thing is that next week's Sup Saturdays is going to be going over my plans for Fallout 76. Kind of like my first impressions. Uh, I know that gameplay has been out for forever, but um, just the main idea is going to be to tell you guys what I really am going to do for Fallout 76, and I wanted to get it close to the beta release, which will be next Saturday. So if you want to know what my plans are going to be to cover gameplay of Fallout 76 and what I'm going to do with the game, uh, watch next week's Sub Saturdays. But this week's Sub Saturdays is going to be dedicated to a patron over on Patreon who asked a question that I'm now going to answer in this video. Um, and if you guys would like to get priority to have your questions answered on dedicated Sub Saturdays like this one, uh, just go over to Patreon and become a patron. Uh, I set it up so that literally you get all of the rewards as long as you just give a dollar or more you get everything I only wanted to have one tier so that everybody gets everything um, just to kind of give people that do want to go the extra mile uh, just a bunch of bonuses so head on over there if you'd like to ask me a question that can be answered in a video like this one okay this question is from Stephen Wolf or the real Wolfman who says hey GV the real Wolfman here uh, that's his twitch username I've got somewhat of a question for you I know during your various let's plays you often talk about wanting to be a game designer, you mentioned that you've tried learning some of the coding and all of that, and that aspect of it may not be for you. However, the way you always commentate on game design choices, level design, etc., really speaks to your passion for it and your ability to know when something is implemented well. I would hate to see you let something like that take the back burners. However, I completely understand the level of commitment and time that YouTube takes. My question to you is this. Would you consider taking up a more design-oriented position, level layout, dialogue, etc., if you were to pursue a serious career in video game creation. It just seems evident to me that you would be a fantastic fit for that sort of position as I always find myself agreeing with your qualms about certain Elder Scrolls Fallout gameplay mechanics. Cheers, Stephen Wolf. Well, first off, thank you, Stephen. Uh, that was very nicely worded. Uh, question that made me feel really good deep down in my gooey center. Um, yeah, the thing is, um, I would love, love, love to be involved with game design on any level, uh, literally or figuratively. Um, the problem is I have zero experience, you know? I, I always thought that if YouTube or Twitch uh, or both were to ever end, um, whether because of me or because of YouTube or because of the platforms or whatever, um, that I would try to use my experience as a content creator here to sort of get a job in either social media, like running a Twitter account or something, or um, or game design on, on, on some level. Now, game design would be a harder thing to go for, obviously, because even though I play, you know, I've played countless hours of video games throughout my entire life, I've never actually had experience writing or designing on any level. Uh, Steven's right, I did try to learn C++ um, because I just got enthralled with the idea that I could create my own video game and I quickly learned uh, th that that was not going to be for me. Uh, my girlfriend is a programmer and we just have completely different minds. Like we have often um, thought that if we were to get together to create some sort of like indie game development studio, we would be a powerhouse because she would code the game um, and then I would write the game. But of course, I don't have any experience and I fully understand that. I'm not saying that, you know, I, I, I would be any good at it. I just think I do have a natural penchant for recognizing good and bad game design and also I don't know, writing on some level, but again, writing's, writing's the tougher one. I, I think I think I'm really good at recognizing good and bad game design, but as far as writing goes, I think I would be good at it, like writing plots or specific character arcs or even dialogue, but I've never tried it, so, you know, there's no way to tell. But the question is basically, would I consider taking a level design or dialogue writing or any sort of, uh, you know, position like that if I were to pursue a career in video games? development absolutely absolutely that would be honestly outside of YouTube and Twitch my next go-to for sure um, like I said I don't know how qualified it well 
I'm not qualified at all. I don't know if video game companies would see all that I've done on YouTube and on Twitch and, and kind of think that, you know, uh, there would be a position for me. Probably not, I don't think so, but um, yes, I would love to. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've actually thought a lot about trying to do this sort of stuff on the side. More so the writing, trying to try out writing and, and you know, writing. I have, a, I have a notepad on my phone that has a lot of ideas for games or even movies or whatever, and I'm sure everybody does, and this just sounds like pipe dream central, I know. But to answer your question, yes, for sure. Um, I think I would be better suited for the writing just because anybody can write. For actual game design, level design, you actually, you know, you have to know your stuff. You have to be able to, to, to format a level in a way that feels good to the player. And that's just something that maybe that I feel that I might naturally be kind of attuned to. But it's, it's, it's incredibly difficult. As far as writing goes, I'm sure it's difficult too. But it's definitely something that I feel that I could do as an amateur on some level. Um, so yes, absolutely, I have always loved game design, and it's weird because when I was younger, I could play bad games and still love every aspect of them because I was young and I didn't realize what good and, game, good and bad gameplay mechanics were. Um, and when I was older, you know, instead of getting so, instead of having that childlike wonder when playing games, it started to turn into noticing, oh wow, that's really good game design, like, and then applauding the developers, or, or oh wow, that's really awful game design, and then criticizing it, which you guys I'm sure have heard in my videos. So I've just gotten more and more fascinated with good game design, absolutely, and um, yeah, I would, I would love to be a part of that industry, for sure. Um, I'm currently not in a position, I don't think, as I've said, but if I I do some writing on the side. Um, I've just never really had a chance to sit down and start getting that rolling. Um, yeah, who knows? And if you're in the industry and want to keep me on your mental list, that'd be wonderful. But thank you very much, Stephen, for the question. Um, yeah, it was a very fun one to answer. And again, if you guys want to ask a question like this and get priority, uh, go to Patreon. The link's in the description below. Um, if not, I will answer questions from this video in the comments section if there's you know nothing I really feel like uh, would be a good fit over on Patreon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Next week, as I said, I will be... Uh, talking about my Fallout 76 plans, and then after the video goes live, Fallout 76, uh, the beta for Xbox One, will be shortly out. And I will be covering the beta for Xbox One, and also I have the PC $200 Collector's Edition. So, gonna play the beta on Xbox One most likely, and then switch over to PC for the full release. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.